Hello, in this video we're going to talk about creating metal siding. I know you guys have been waiting for this video and I just got busy and it fell off my plate. So uh, here it is. I've done three different ways to create uh, siding and um, also did a roof example. So you can see different ways to create this. Now uh, the first one here, you'll see the door uh, looks pretty good, except I got this weird paneling, this weird situation that's happening over here. I use a reveal uh, on this one. This is actually a reveal panel, which actually it is a negative of the object and it cut it out of the wall. Okay, and what that left me with was this reveal element. Okay, and then I did one which was an additive element. So I came over here, I created the wall, and then I did an additive. This is called the wall sweep. And you can see there's the wall sweep and it's added. You still see the wall behind. Now in plan view, what we could do is uh, if I zoom out a bit and come over here, you could make that shorter or you could adjust it or just hide it in the view or just note it as that it, those are your, uh, your structure behind the scenes here. And you'll see how it actually looks pretty good here. You can even hide it in this view. If I just go hide um, element, uh, you can still see we still have the corrugated metal. So uh, the reveal, this is a reveal. You can see it looks pretty good. And what I did was I actually then arrayed it. I took the reveal here, and then I created a array, and I arrayed it down the, the wall here. And that's how I created this element here. So if I was to remove it, you'll see that if I grab this and delete it, see there's your wall. It's a thin wall, and then I added in what's called a reveal. Now, let me explain reveals. What a reveal is, is an item that takes away from the wall. So I, if I grab this and hit delete, you'll see I have a, a red wall panel here. Let me spin it so the light's better on it. Um, and what I've done is I've created a reveal. So you go to architecture, you go to wall, and there's a thing called a reveal. Now this reveal here, I'll say put it vertical or horizontal depending on your design and then you pick the edge of the wall and what it's going to do it'll actually chop away that wall now when I hit escape you'll see I chopped that wall and you're like wait why did it chop that chunk out because I'm using the generic reveal that comes with Revit now if you use the metal panel what you're going to notice is here's the metal panel I drag it to the end and when I let it go now you see it cuts and creates that metal panel look now what does the reveal look like let's hit edit type it's a metal panel, exterior metal panel. Okay, so it's a reveal and it's a profile and that's what makes that happen. So let's take a look at the first one. Uh, I'll send you this uh, file, by the way. So um, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here and you see the profiles and I have metal panel and um, exterior. Now let's see what this one is. I'm gonna grab it, edit type and I wish I would've called it um, reveal. So I'm gonna actually rename it here, rename. Okay, so that's a reveal. So that's a removable part. Now if I open it up and I go cancel, let me, I click on it, right click, and I hit edit. Now what I did, I just measured, measured the panels, and then what I did is I made this uh, kind of setup. And you'll see here, this is the element. So what it's doing is it's subtracting it from the wall. And you see over here it says wall and wall face. So I've created a family that this will remove from the wall that area. And that's called a reveal. So it re actually removes it from the wall. And I test drove it, and it worked pretty good, except when you have this little end panel here. Now that might be a way to add another reveal in there and clean it up. We'll see if we can do that. I'm gonna say, uh, again, wall, reveal. And let's see if I just pop it right there. Well, wrong reveal. Let's go pick the metal panel. Let's see if I can clean it up. Still the wrong one, metal panel. So it'll clean that panel up and let's hit escape yeah so you might be able to put another panel in here and uh and clean it up it doesn't seem to like it because see it hits the door how it kind of squirrels on us so um that doesn't seem to be working for us so that is a reveal um so i test drove that first i thought that would work best but well as you can see it didn't so then i went and i said let's use an additive feature now in this one, this is an added panel. It's almost like we took the panel and screwed it to the wall. You see, there it is. Let me hit undo again. I just deleted it, and there it is. Now how do we put these on a wall? I'll go up top here, wall, wall reveal. Now when you pick the wall reveal, hit vertical, and I'll choose the panel that I want to use. This time I'm going to touch it, and you'll see it puts it on the wall, and then when you hit restart reveal, it places it, and there it is. Oh, I'm sorry, reveal removes it from the wall, as you can see. Let's do the additive feature, and that's going to be wall sweep. Wall sweep is an additive feature. I'll touch the face of the wall, and let's choose the right one, metal panel red. 
I touch the edge of the wall. You can see the panel is moving into place. And I place it like so. And you see, now I hit Restart Sweep, and it places it again. Um, I'm just going to hit OK, and you can see the two metal panels. Then what you can do is actually just array it down. Use the Array command and array the panels down, and you get a nice panelization as they go down. Now, one thing I noticed is in my design, I put in the two intermediate bumps, and what that did, it made the wall too busy. Notice when I zoom out, it's just too, too busy. Uh, the third one I did, I came over here and I created a wall by using an extrusion. Um, I'll, I'll cover that in a moment, but see how the wall looks a little cleaner? So if you're doing rendering, you may want to use this. I'm not sure. Um, if you run in Inkscape or anything like that, you can see what one works best for you. But go ahead and test drive it before you go ahead and build all your panels. Uh, that way you know you're building what, what needs to be done. So this one, I placed it, and then I arrayed it down. Now notice how nice it cleans the wall up. I put the door in here, and you'll see the door cleans up quite nice. Now you could, if you wanted to trim this thing out, um, you know, really take it to a fine detail, you could probably come in here and create a, a sweep and put that final red trim in. It would look pretty tight. So um, the seems like the the wall sweep is the way to go. Um, now, the third way I tried was I said, okay, well, in Revit, you can build a wall by creating an in-place family. So what I did, I went up top, architecture, and I said, create model in place. And I said, create a new wall, like so. And now when I use the wall and I fire that up, I'm going to go back, wall one, hit OK. I'm going to go back to my plan view. So go back to plan view. And in the plan view, I had a little piece of line work that I actually just copied. And then I started to make an in-place wall. So let me go through the process um, here. Now I've got this line work. All it is is line work. Let me rotate it. And it's nothing fancy. It's just detail lines. right? Now you may want to make sure it lays out proper mathematically where the start and the stop is actually at exactly whatever the measurement is of the panel you're using. And then if you want to use an extrusion, uh, this can also be used for the roof also. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to create um, in, in this instance, we're going to create an in-place wall. So I go Component, Model in Place. Let me first of all grab this. I'm going to grab the line work. I'm going to copy it. Grab it. Copy to clipboard. Okay. Now hit File. Whoop. Let's go Component, Model in Place. What? I'm going to model in place a new wall. So hit Wall. Hit OK. And I'm going to call it Metal 1. Doesn't really matter. Hit OK. Now. I'm going to hit Extrusion. Now, Revit's going to say, okay, you want to create an extrusion. Uh, that's fine, but you need to put in some line work. So I'm going to hit Control-V. I'm going to paste it, and there is the line work. Now, what I could do is I want to repeat this thing. So I may decide that I'm going to take the lines here. And it's a broken line. It's not a big deal. So I could take this and use these elements, right? I'm going to use a crossing. Now I'm not going to worry so much about the actual um, the two ends. I want to leave that end. I want to leave that. I'm just going to do maybe one panel. I'll then copy this down. Now again, this is where you're going to make sure you know that the size of your panel, one foot, and then maybe another one foot. Okay. Now, what I need to do is a little bit of cleanup because when you create an extrusion, it has to be a closed shape. Okay. Now I don't know why I did that, but let's pull it out straight and let's go clean that up. I'm going to use Trim the Corner. Now over here, I'm going to have to clean these up again. I'm going to use Trim the Corner, and I'm just going to walk down and clean them up. Now depending on how you drew your line work, you might be able to clean this up a lot faster than me, but here we go. So remember, it has to be a closed line all the way around, a closed shape. So now if I come over here, you see there's a close on this end, and it's closed on this end. At this point, I'm going to tell Revit to make that panel 12 feet tall. Um, I'll make it a material come down here and choose something. Let's type in, I don't know if I have a red material or not. Let's see, red, uh, red metal. Hit OK. Hit OK. So now what it's going to do, it's going to create a wall out of red metal panel, and it's going to use this profile and extrude it up. And there we go. Let's take a look at it. Finish. Let's go look at it in 3D. Um, and there it is. You see the three panels back here. I'm going to move them over so we can see them a little better. Now, that looks pretty good, actually, but the only thing is doors. If I go to Architecture Door, now, Revit knows that is a wall. Uh, so if I bring in a door and I pop it in, you'll see it tries to pop it in that wall. There we go. 
But you'll see how it's doing some weird results there. Now, maybe if we pop it on a rib, let me try that. Come back here again. I'll use this wall this time. I'm going to take this door out, and I'm going to try to put it on a rib. Let's say door. Okay. And come in here, I'm going to try to pick the face of that rib. Yep. And maybe I got it, maybe I didn't. But see how we're not getting a real clean cut there. We're getting some weird results. So this doesn't seem to be the, the answer either. But I wanted to try a few things to see what worked and what doesn't. But um, the, what really seems to work the best is this one here, which are the actual um, metal panel sweeps. Now, to put the roof on, what we did was a sweep here. We use that same shape again. But when I go to grab this, you'll see I'm going to hit edit in place. <coughs> if I grab the shape here, um, what this is, it's an array. Let me get edit group. And what this is, it's actually a sweep. We took that same profile and we told it to follow the edge here and it went on across. Let me go ahead and hit edit sweep. So you'll see I've got this shape. This is a little shape right here. And I told it to follow the edge, which is right here. So you pick path, see the purple path. And then I hit finish. And what it did, it put in one piece of the panel. Now if you want to get fancy, if you made this an actual three panels, then it would make three panels at a time. The problem is when you get to the end, it may not mathematically work out, so I only did one panel. Hit OK. And then you can copy them down or array them, and then uh, you're good to go. And that's what I think I have here is an array, as you can see, an array group. And I just rate them down. So that's how we can make them set up. Now, here's the cool thing. You have to put the whole roof in. And you can do the same thing with these reveals. I need, let's say, 36 of them. Hit Enter. See how the roof is now being put together. Again, earlier I mentioned the, the multi-ribs. You see it, it looks a little busy, but you can see how that works. So really, once you set that first set, you can come in here, uh, type in 60, and you see how it runs the, the whole building. You can do it here, too. I think I exploded this one, though, um, on the walls. Yeah. But this was also a... Um, let me go ahead and finish on that. Yeah. So these were an array, and I could blast them down the walls. Pretty nice. So there you go. That is um, the trick to go ahead and make um, these panels and make them look good. Again, it's going to be up to you on the design of the panel and the material, but you saw how I added the materials. So hopefully this works for you. I'm going to send you this file, which contains all the profiles and um, kind of everything you need. So hopefully enjoy. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a call.